And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, on this date in 1858, it looks like we had an EF1 tornado pass through Lafayette with winds over 100 miles an hour. Started near present day Shadeland, followed the Wabash River, made a right turn, and then lifted near present day Prophetstown State Park. We had homes, buildings damaged, a wildcat bridge damaged, a lot of trees damaged or destroyed. This is the reconstructed track I made based on newspaper information. This is the city of Lafayette, downtown Lafayette. This is West Lafayette, Chauncey area, and there's Purdue. Started down here, paralleled the Wabash River and the Old Canal, and then it ripped the roof off the Salem Street Depot and then made a right turn, and we had quite a bit of damage up here around St. Boniface Cemetery before it lifted up here near present-day Prophetstown State Park. And based on the damage and the evidence, looks like at a peak wind of around 105 miles an hour. Interestingly, on the same day, we had 19 people killed from a tornado out here in West Central Illinois. Today, the main area of violent weather is going to be really parts of Illinois, Missouri, back into Oklahoma. We've also had widespread wind damage in Ohio, but notice how we're in between all this because notice all the white. We've been cloudy all day. That's been a huge help for us, but I think as we get into the evening and night, Got to watch this area, central Illinois, St. Louis Metro. Storms are already trying to develop. The sun is out here. So we'll watch those for the evening and part of the night. And then once we get into the late overnight, early Saturday morning, what is ever left of this violent tornado outbreak in Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas, and Arkansas, this will gel into a line and that may affect the viewing area again during those times. Overnight hours, late overnight hours into early Saturday morning. Right now we're sitting pretty though. We've got widespread wind damage ongoing in Ohio and these storms are holding their own. They've been intensifying for a while now. A lot of lightning with those. So we're going to track those during these evening hours. We'll watch for a scattered severe threat with those. We'll see if those can really get going and then the other storms will continue to develop out in Missouri and Oklahoma. So we'll still watch that scattered severe threat tonight to early tomorrow morning. Then turning cooler and less humid and then turning warmer again next week with showers and storms coming back in. After lows tonight, generally in the 60s, we'll call it mid to upper 60s, will be right around 80 for the high tomorrow. And then highs on Sunday, much cooler, only 70 to 73 degrees for the high temperature. So tonight, here's kind of that line coming through late tonight. That's about 3 o'clock in the morning. That blows on through here. And then tomorrow, my thinking is most of the severe weather tomorrow is going to be down here. But we're still going to have some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Main severe threat may actually be during the early morning hours and then we'll get all this out of here and notice the severe weather staying off to our east and southeast and then it starts to dry out once we get into Sunday. 70 forecast after cooling off in a big way with overnight lows in the 40s. We're back to the 80s next week with showers and storms Thursday and Friday and very early early preliminary forecast for the taste in downtown Lafayette. Looks like some storms possible. Highs mid 80s. Oh, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Right? Fingers are crossed. Right. We're updating that. Okay, Chad. Thank sure. you. Thank you. Just ahead, the 31st.